It's easy to set up for recording audio tracks in Mixcraft. After deciding what type of project you want to create or open, go to Preferences. Choose the driver your interface manufacturer recommends. With basic 2x2 interfaces or a sound card, Mixcraft will automatically choose those inputs and outputs as the default stereo ins and outs. With interfaces having multiple inputs and outputs, you can choose any stereo pair as the default. Arming a track enables it for recording using the default inputs. However, you can use a track's drop-down menu to select any input pair, and this will override the track's existing default. The track will remember this assignment, so arming this track will enable it for recording from the inputs you selected. When using interfaces with multiple inputs, make sure you choose inputs that match your audio interface's physical connections. For example, if you patched a mic to input 3 and an electric guitar to input 4, select inputs 3 and 4. Click OK. We'll record a mic acoustic rhythm guitar part in track 1, so track 1 should listen to input 3. Click on track 1's ARM recording drop-down menu and choose the left channel. This corresponds to input 3. Selecting an input automatically arms the track for recording, which colors the track red. Click on the speaker button so you can hear the sound you're recording. Play your instrument. You'll hear it through your headphones or monitor speakers hooked up to the interface, as well as see the track's meters light up. If you hear a delay, that's called latency. Check the Mixcraft Help menu for tips on reducing latency. Now, let's tune up before recording. Tune your instrument with Mixcraft's Chromatic Tuner. Just click on the Tuner button. Play a note on your guitar, bass, or other instrument. Bars to the note names right or left show whether the pitch is sharp or flat, respectively. When the note's in tune, the note letter has a blue background. To choose a tempo, click on the tempo indicator. You can select a preset tempo from the drop-down menu, or type in a tempo. But perhaps the easiest option is to click on the Tap Tempo button at a tempo that feels right. Mixcraft measures the time between clicks and derives the tempo. Look at the tempo readout and note the average reading. Leave it on a tempo or enter a rounded off number. Click on OK. You can use Mixcraft's virtual instruments to create a drum part, or use loops for backing tracks. But if you're in a hurry, just set up the metronome. You can always add drums later. Click on the metronome button. Choose metronome during playback and or recording, and specify a count in measure or two. Click OK to complete the metronome setup. Arming a track means it's ready to record. Disarming a track prevents accidental recording. Although selecting an input arms a track automatically, you can arm or disarm any track or tracks at any time. While you're setting up to record, choose the timeline calibration. Beats is best for music. Click the Transport Rewind to Beginning button to make sure you're starting from the song's beginning. Now, click on Record. Wait for the counting and start playing. You'll know you're recording because an audio waveform will appear in the track and scroll as you play. After recording your part, click on Stop. And before moving on, keep your tracks organized by naming them and choosing a track icon.